Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be solving the lead code question compare version numbers. All right, so in this question, we're gonna compare uh, the version numbers of version one and version two. So if version one is higher than, uh, or it has a greater version number than version two, we return one. If it's not, if, if it's the other way around, we return negative one, or else if they're the same, we return zero. Okay, so you may assume that the version strings are non-empty and contain only the digits and the uh, period character. So the dot character does not represent a decimal point and it is used to represent the number sequence. For example, 2.5 is not two and a half or halfway to uh, version three. It's the fifth second level revision of the second first level re revision. Okay, uh, you may assume the default version number for each level of a version number 2B0, for example, a version uh, number 3.4 has a revision number of 3 and 4 for its first and second level revision number. Its third and fourth uh, level revision number are both 0. Alright, so as you can see, what they did over here for 3.4 is they split up the version number. So you split it up, so that's going to be kind of our first step. So we're going to take whatever version we have, and we're going to split it up every time there's a period. So in this case, there's a period over here. So we have three and four. And let's say we're comparing 3.4 with 1.0.1. So how are we going to split 1.0.1? So we're going to have one, zero, and one. So that's simple. But now the thing is that 3.4 and 1.0.1 are not the same length. So what we're going to do is a third version for 3.4. So you have three and four, and then we're going to fill up whatever the empty space is in order to match the length with a zero. So that's one thing we're going to do in order to take care for the differences in length. And now one more thing we want to see is uh, what if we have something like uh, 1.001. 1 uh, 1 so how do you convert 001 to an integer? So uh, technically in this case 001 is just going to um, correspond to one. So that actually uh, happens for us in Python. So let's just, let me just show you. So let's just open Python three. Okay, and over here, if you type, uh, so in our question, we're given everything in the form of a string. So let's convert a string. So this string is gonna be 0 0.00, actually uh, 0, 0, 0, 001. Okay, so four zeros and one, and we're gonna convert it to an integer. So let's see what we get. And the value we get is actually one. So Python just does this for us. So it takes, so if we have a string with a trailing zeros, we'll only take whatever the number is. And same way, if you have zero, 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 one, one, uh, the integer equivalent for that is just going to be 11. So that's how we're going to take care of that. And yeah, so we got two kind of small problems. One is to take care of the length. What if the lengths are different? And the second is to take care of the leading zeros, not trailing, sorry, leading zeros. All right, so now let's just see how we can code this question out. All right, so let's start off by first splitting up the two versions. So let's just call these two variables v1 and v2. And let's start off by splitting up version one. So I'm gonna be using list comprehension. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna convert that, uh, so, there, so there are two things we're doing. We're gonna convert a string to an integer. So we're gonna convert it to int x and for x in, version one and we want to split this up into each of the numbers by splitting it according to the period so we're going to do version one dot split and we're going to split it according to the period so that and then the period so now we have our list which contains all of the versions uh, converted to integers and they're split according to the period and that's for version one and for version two we're going to do the same thing so let's just copy it and the only difference is that this over here is going to be version two dot split. Okay, so now we have v1 and v2 with its integer value. So now we can use that for comparison. So now let's iterate through it. So for x in range, and what are we gonna iterate it through? So we could iterate it through the range of uh, length one, of version one. But what if the length of version one is less than the length of version two? That won't be a fair comparison. So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to just choose whatever the maximum length is. But the problem with that is when you choose the maximum length, there might be some empty spaces for one of the version. And in that case, whenever there's an empty space, we're just going to fill that empty space with a value of zero. So let's just see how that looks like. So we're going to take the maximum between length v1 and length v2. So we're just going to iterate through whatever the maximum is. 
And now inside of our for loop, we're going to assign the values of whatever we're comparing. So how do we do that? Okay, so let's start off with version one. And over here, we're going to check if x is less than the length of uh, v1. And if that is the case, that means that we do have something, some number at that index of x right now. So we can just directly go to that. So what we're going to do is we're going to make version one and we're going to iterate through v1 and go to index x. Else, so if this is not the case, so if x is equal to or greater than the length of v1, that means that x is too small. So in that case, what we're going to end up doing is we're going to make version one, we're going to equate it to a value of zero. So zero is just going to be like a filler. So we did this for version one, and now we're going to do the same thing for version two. So I'm just copying it over. So if x is less than length of v2, then version 2 is going to equal to v2x, else version 2 is going to equate to 0. Okay, so now we have our corresponding values for version 1 and version 2. And now all we need to do is we need to compare them. So over here, we're going to check if version 1 is greater than version 2. So if version 1 is, sorry, version 2, okay, if version 1 is greater than version 2, then in that case, we're going to end up returning 1. And the other two conditions we have is if version 1 is equal to version 2. And in that case, we're just going to ignore it. And finally, the third condition is when version 1 is less than version 2. So if version 1 is less than version 2, I should change this to else if, then in that case, we're going to end up returning negative 1. And that's going to keep going in our for loop. And what if both of these versions were the same? And in that case, we're going to actually return the value zero. So if we do not end up returning either one or negative one, outside of our for loop, once we're done iterating through everything, we're going to end up returning a value of zero. And one more, so let's just submit this. And one more thing is that you could write these four lines in two lines and just shorten the code, but the logic is still the same. Anyhow, you can see that our submission did get accepted. And finally, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Do let me know if you have any questions. And don't forget to like and subscribe if the video helped you. Thank you.